You have a blank page in front of you. Where do you start your story? Authors feel this way all the time. Every time I start with a chapter one typed on my page and I'm starting a new novel, I sit there and I look at the page and I think, where am I gonna start this? And it doesn't matter how much character development I've done. Um, if I've outlined and I have the whole entire plot written down and in my head, um, I've got all the problems, I've got the themes. It doesn't matter how much I've, I've done. I still have to sit there with a blank page. So how can you start your story? There's lots of ways to start it. You can start with dialogue. It's a great way to start. Get right into the people chat talking. You can start with a thought. You can start with um, an onomatopoeia. So you can do a crash, a bang, a boom, a hiss, uh, that kind of thing. Um, you can also start with um, action. Action is an absolutely great place to start a story. Um, it gets the reader right into the story right away. You could even start with a question. So there's lots of different ways to start your story. Now I have four books here from a series that I wrote and it's called the one-to-one -one series. Let me get them all straight here. It's called the one-to-one -one series. And I'm, I'm gonna read to you the opening sentence of, of each one of these books. These books are about the Best Buddies Club and the Best Buddies Club is a real club and it pairs kids together um, in a school. Uh, lots of high schools have it, lots of universities. Um, and often they pair kids that are, that are maybe a little different. Hey, we're all different, um, but it does help kids um, that maybe are a bit socially awkward to form a friendship and to belong to something and help them cope um, high school, which can be difficult for a lot of a lot of kids. So the first book I have is uh, the first book I wrote was with Harrison and Harrison um, has high functioning autism and Harrison's mother wants him to go to the best buddies club. So this is the opening for this book. Round the corner three steps round the corner three steps. That's the first paragraph. Uh, and I chose that because this is something that Harrison does. Harrison walks in circles um, when he's trying to cope. He walks in circles and he, he does three steps and then he goes around a corner and he does three steps and he just keeps going around in this circle. Uh, stop walking in those circles. My brother spoke, but I didn't listen. The sounds from the school hallway were swirling, spinning in my head, talking, feet on the tiles, humming, words, lots of words, including Joel talking to me. Around the corner, three steps. Uh, and I started it there so that you, you're, so the reader can get right into Harrison's head right away on how he does cope. Now, the second book in the series was um, Born With and the, the character is Erica and Gianni, but Erica was born with Down syndrome, which means she was born with an extra chromosome. And where I got the idea for the opening of this one, which is, holy moly, was I excited. And she's trying out for um, the musical Grease, and so is Gianni, her best buddy. And she's excited because it's, it's the audition day. And I got it because I went to a best buddies um, meeting and there was, there was a big meeting. There was all kinds of people there. And I heard this girl, I was listening. I was really listening so that I could get some research for the book. And I heard this girl that was born with Down syndrome beside me talking to her dad. And she said, holy moly, dad. And I thought that's gonna be, I'm gonna use that as my opening line. Now in this book, my character Madeline has a brain injury and she fell off her bike when she was eight years old and she's a twin. Um, and how I started this one was she goes to high school and she said, sometimes I think I should just wear a sign. I fell off my bike, I hurt my brain. Words get stuck in my brain and I talk slowly, I know that. I can almost picture the words and see them first before they travel to my mouth. So this one started with a thought. And I did that because Madeline really does feel like she's in high school and everybody stares at her all the time and she just really wishes people would stop staring at her because she does talk slowly and she walks slowly and sometimes um, she can't control her emotions. So she says, sometimes I just wish that I could wear a sign and everybody would know that I hurt my brain. So that was the beginning of that one. So that was a thought. So I've had actions and I've had thoughts. 
Now, this one is about a boy that um, has fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, meaning that his mother um, drank alcohol when she was expecting him, and it actually caused some damage to his brain. This one started, he's in the gymnasium, and it started it with, my body vibrated. And he's sitting in the gym and he's waiting for a basketball game to start and sensory stimulation can make him a little anxious and make him go a bit crazy. So that's why I started that with my body was vibrating. So you can just picture that, that he's going to start soon and something's going to happen and he's going to do something that he probably shouldn't do. So that's um, the series and that's how I started my books. So if you have a blank page in front of you, good luck. Just start it and keep writing. And just know that you may have to redo your opening line a couple of times. It doesn't really matter if you have to edit it. But just get something down on the page and get writing and good luck.